Hey everybody, it's that boondocking diva coming at you with another video this morning. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful view. Look at that. All that lusciousness. We are out at Sunset Ranch in Villa Rica, Georgia. And behind me, I have a wonderful young man named Let Willen. He's going to tell us about his nomadic life and how he made it to Black Nomads Meet. Hello, everybody. Hey, Let. I'm Let Wellen Terman. Uh, I want to thank uh, Boondock and Diva for allowing me this opportunity. Uh, and I just want to tell you a little bit of my, about my story and how I got into the nomadic lifestyle. Well, about, I want to say seven years ago or so, I was, I was already a traveler. Now, me and my wife, we, we had kind of did a lot of travel abroad. We seen a lot of the world, but we hadn't really seen America. Uh, I was born... Um, in the south here and pretty much seen the east coast of America, but I've never done anything further than, you know, uh, the east coast. And so we decided we wanted to travel and we bought a big class A RV. And we, we did that for a while, but what we found was that some of the places that we really wanted to go, some of the bigger cities, it was just kind of hard to maneuver it around without uh, a tow vehicle behind it. And, and so what we did was we decided we wanted to go smaller. And so we sold the RV and I started to build this here, which is not complete. Uh, but this is uh, the black van, I call it Judah. Awesome. Um, and <laughs> Judah. me and my wife, we, we are, we are uh, building this out to, to travel America and to see our own backyard. And, and Wonderful. So I'll show you a little bit of what I've done. Okay. Uh, when I bought it, it was um, pretty much uh, uh, totally different. I had to do a paint job and some yeah. body work, but I had to do nothing to the engine. And so first thing I did was cut out all of the old seats that were welded in and mm -hmm. put in new floors. And then I put my bed slash chair in and then I started to build everything around here. Now this chair will fold over into a bed and this is my kitchen, kitchen shower. Okay. Um, it's everything. So I'll show you. Uh, this is just the basic two burner camping cooktop mm -hmm. with the uh, uh, 12 volt refrigerator up under there. This is my sink and it's basically just a bowl that I can take in and out. This is my water station. I got seven gallons of fresh water and this is a drain. I can drain water from here into here. That's seven gallons of gray water. And this is a hot water heater. Okay. And what it does is simply I can hook this mm -hmm. into the back of this and hook this hose into the front and it'll suck the water from here, run it through here and make it hot and out of here. And I use this for a shower or wash dishes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So this is my, my kitchen area. And when, I re when I'm ready to go to bed at night, I put this on wheels and when I'm traveling, I just strap it in. When I'm ready to go to bed. Oh, cool. I Look just at turn that. It that way. Take my little stuff here and fold my bed over. So it was a couch before it's and now it's a bed. And it's a two-sided couch. It actually has a, a seat in the back going this way when it goes up. So I can uh -huh. open the back doors and sit that way or sit forward. And then I simply just have to roll out my roll out my stuff. Okay. Nice. Just like that. I mean, that's bed like a full size. That's a what? What size bed? Uh, full it's size? pretty much a full bed. It's yeah. about six feet long, um, forty-eight inches wide. I'm thinking about four, five feet wide, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. But it sleeps too comfortably. Me and my wife can sleep back Beautiful. here with no problem. Yeah. Beautiful. So and so my, your uh, this cut this cot here is about what two inches? You got multiple? Yeah, I got multiple on here. So what okay. I did was is I just bought two. Well, I already had this, and mm -hmm. I bought two of these okay. and put them on top, and these are like two inches a piece. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. So this is your home away from home, and then sometimes your wife is, is in here with yep. you. and Sometimes my wife's here with me. Sometimes I travel alone because we do have kind of conflicting schedules at times. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, this is, this is kind of my home away from home. Uh, I got another short bus that I'm gonna build out for the headroom, but for right now, this kind of 
it does the stealth job. Yeah. yeah. It does the stealth job. And you were saying that you and your wife started out in a Class A? Yes, we started then, out in a Class A RV. And then uh, just kind of changed your mind about... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was it, it had a lot to do with the size of the RV. It was mostly the size of um, getting it in and out of my neighborhood. Okay. Um, Finding somewhere who was willing to work on it, who actually had a garage bay big enough. I, I found... Some of my hardest problems just getting somebody to change the oil because you couldn't get it into bays. Yeah. But I do st stay in rural, small town America, so okay. it's not a lot to choose from where I am. You know? Okay. And um, it's just it's really just the size. It was the size, and when we bought it, we wanted the size. We thought we wanted the size, uh -huh. but the more we traveled in it, the more we got out. We and we kind of understood that the kids weren't traveling as much as we thought they would like because. Mm -hmm. They kind of like the elders of the family, so they like to be around the grandparents and the great aunts and okay, that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. So we could tell them we're going, and they were like, well, we just want to stay. So we found out it's just me and her, so yeah, we sized down. Yeah, might as well get down. something small. Yes, yeah. yes ma'am. Cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. What else would you like to share um, just to encourage other black men to get out and Yeah, explore? I just want to say, man, if, if you got a dream of, of a nomadic lifestyle, a travel lifestyle, or or even if you just want to try to build it out just to see if you got it, man, go for it, man. Because what I find out, some of the most rewarding experiences in life have been those that I kind of went for without talking myself out of. And mm -hmm. It can be easy and it can be discouraging, especially if you're searching for us online. We're kind of underrepresented. When I say us, I do mean black men. We're kind of underrepresented online as far as the the van life community goes but i do want to encourage you and tell you uh here at black nomads 22 there are a few brothers here who who own the same movement so i encourage you if you're doing it get out there and, and yes. uh, put it out there so the world can see it yes yes very encouraging thank you let thank you wonderful story all right signing off y'all if y'all want to reach out to let uh well let's see what do you think you want to give any contact information? Oh uh, well, I, I really don't have any social media at this time. I'm kind of pull pull my way myself away from that, and um, I'm not at the point where I'm bold enough to just build my YouTube channel yet. So yeah, it, it'll be okay. coming one day, and we'll, we'll get it out there when it's time. Cool. All right, signing off, y'all. Get Peace. out there and go camp. Go camp. Your style. Do it your way. All right. See ya. <laughs>